Ben, we made it. It's our wedding day. Right now, I am in our suite getting ready. I'm most likely counting down the minutes until I get to see you all dressed up and looking handsome. This is going to be the time of our lives. I often think about the time that we met. I can't get over how natural it was and how comfortable you made me feel. I love how our story started. I love that God timed it perfectly for us to meet and grow together. Well, it's very rare today to find a couple who is willing to go on a blind date. <laughs> who does that? The one has to truly trust their friend's judgment and discernment in setting him up on such a dangerous mission. I couldn't have been more excited to learn that our friends had set Emily up on a blind date. She called me a few more hours before her date with Ben and was so nervous to the point that she was talking about canceling because he lived so far away and it probably wouldn't work out. And me, being the incredible hype woman that I am, I uttered these words, just go, it'll be fun. It's one date, it's not like you're gonna marry the guy. <laughs> and look at me, I was so wrong. He casually says one day, hey, going on a blind date. And I was like, kind of pastor, what pastor Nick said, yeah, good luck, pal. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that sounds fun. That's, that's, that's going to be great. And um, it quickly became evident that this was not an ordinary blind date. Ben was smitten, I guess, is the, the, the formal word that you can, you can say. Well, Emily, when Ben first laid eyes on you, he was so excited, like today, hasn't changed. You were so easy to talk to, nothing seemed awkward or forced, but natural and right. And you knew he would connect when you found out that your favorite restaurant was Culver's. And you like Bill Napkins. It must be true love. This wedding is sponsored by Culver's. <laughs> Emily, it's hard to know where to even start other than saying how excited I am to marry you this weekend. I have been looking forward to this for so, so long. I knew from the first date that you were something special. I had the best time with you and every day has gotten better since. I am so, so excited to marry you and become your husband. I will always give you 100% and will love and protect you through life. I can't wait to build a family and grow old with you. There is no one I'd rather do life with than you. I love you, Ben. But Ben, when Emily laid eyes on you for the first time, she was drawn to your great smile. And she described it as lit up the room, the entire room, and attached that smile. She thought you were definitely, meaning definitely, meaning with no doubt, handsome. She loved that you did not reach out with a formal handshake, but a sincere hug. She was comfortable with you right away. She thought, wow, you had a solid head on your shoulders, very driven, hardworking, you would tell you were being yourself, and what a kind gentleman. And she's like, we've just been talking and laughing and have the best night. And I knew right then and there that Trem had met her person. So the next day when we talked, I knew they hit it off, but again, knew they met their person because we've all talked about, again, their love for Culver's. And she was the only person that I knew that collected Scoopy coupons until she called about their first date and when she got into his car, what did she find? A stack of Scoopy coupons. And I was like, who collects Scoopy coupons? I just, still the only two I know that do that. Lord, <laughs> we are gathered here with great anticipation and excitement for Ben and Emily. Lord, as they come together to become husband and wife, and Lord, they stand before you in gratitude for revealing your unconditional love to them through Christ. And it's because of your love they have entered into a personal relationship with you by faith and are now committing their relationship to you as the center of it. Although we may not know what God has in store for us as husband and wife, I'm so thrilled to be doing it all by your side. Life may challenge us, it may knock us down, it may make us feel defeated, but God's timing has never failed us. It has always had a purpose, even if it takes time for that purpose to be revealed. 
I love you so much, and I don't know what I would do without you. I am so thankful for God's timing in bringing you into my life and allowing me to do life with you by my side. You are my everything, forever and always, Ben. So with that being said, Ben, I'm officially passing the title of Emily's soulmate over to you. I couldn't think of anyone who deserves the title more. Your love for each other inspires me every day. Ben, you are generally one of the kindest humans I know, which only makes sense that you two hit it off so well and are here today. That and the fact that you would both rather eat a kid's meal at Culver's than a nice filet at a chop house. I have no doubt in my mind that 72 years from now, and yes, we're gonna live to be at least 100, these two will still be making each other laugh, sharing in this beautiful love and marriage, and surrounded by a beautiful family of their own. I also once heard a quote that went, there are good days and bad days, and then there are the extraordinary days like this that change a life. You two make love look easy, and I look up to you both in more ways than one. You're both loved and cherished by so many. Just look around this room. All these people are here for you because they love you, and they love your love. There are no two people more perfect for each other, and I've always said there's no greater love story than yours, and I mean that. Um, you're two of the most genuine people we've ever met. I'm dropping that. I know that you two would be there for us. Bree and I are, are just, we, we love you with everything. So. Um, if you would all just raise a raise a glass with me to, to Ben and Emily. Mr. and Mrs. Brower, congratulations, and we and we wish you many happy years and we love you. It's now my honor and privilege to introduce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Benjamin Brower. Mm -hmm.